Hi. So right now I'm filming with my new flip camera and I just kind of wanted to see if it was better than the camera I usually film with, which is Sony's Vloggy. It has a better uh, zoom. I think the flip is only two and the Sony Vloggy, at least the one that I have, is five. So I'm just kind of testing it out. Uh, hopefully you can see this. I don't know, it looks kind of uh, washed out from what I can see on the back from the mirror. One of the things I liked about the bloggy was that you can twist this so that I could see exactly how it looked. I can't do that on the flip. Um, I got the flip just so I could carry it in my bag with me. Since I have my camera, my phone, my iPod, everything, this is getting into way too long of an explanation. I'm sorry, but you can see this is... I can't compare them right now because obviously I'm filming on one, but this is definitely bulkier. Um, and the flip, they're, I don't know if they're just, dis I think they're just discontinuing their products, which I find kind of strange just because they seem to do pretty well as far as sales go, at least from what I've heard. So if you're looking for a camera, um, they have the Ultra, what's it called, Ultra HD um, flip at Best Buy, at least at my Best Buy, I saw it for $57. Um, the one that I got, which was two hours, was $77, I think it was. And then they, I don't think they had any more of the Minnow one, but Ultra, from what I saw in reviews, seemed to be better, so that's why I just went with this one. So anyways, I wanted to do a really quick tutorial using Urban Decay's 15th Anniversary Palette. I'm getting ready to go out. I'm rushing out, <laughs> so... I'm just going to clip back my hair over here because I already have one eye done but I didn't do this eye just to kind of make it quicker but that you can also see this is what it will look like. I'm going to try and get closer to the camera because it doesn't seem to zoom very well. Sorry, I have my mirror I'm holding with me. So hopefully you can see this well enough. If not, I'll just have to go back and film over. In the palette, the first color I'm going to use is called Midnight 15, and it's right here, and I'm going to use this for the inner corner. I already have some on this eye just because I wasn't sure which eye I was going to do at first, and then I realized there's more room for me this way, so it would be better to do this eye on camera. So I'm just going to take some of that and go into the inner corner, just dab it in. I go pretty much in toward the middle. I do almost the half of my eyelid just because I feel like it will... I hate saying that. I say some of the same things over and over again just because I feel like... Sorry about that. So, yeah, I think that it kind of helps the middle color to blend in a little bit better. And for the center color, I'm going to use Deep End, which is this one right here. It's really, really pretty uh, greenish blue. It's, it's a teal color. I actually can't wait to use this in some kind of like a mermaid look. That's what I think I would like to do with this. But I just put that in the middle. I'm not using any primer, and part of the reason I don't use primer in some of my tutorials is because I know they're pretty expensive, the primers, and it's one of those steps you, you can skip with a lot of eyeshadows, at least a lot of the ones that I use, you can skip the primer. These colors last all day. I've been using the 15th Anniversary Palette since I got it. Basically, I've been using this. This is my new look now, even though it's daytime. Since it's daytime, I'm not going to use mascara. My eyelashes are already black. If your eyelashes um, are very thin or just don't show up too well, you can definitely use mascara with this and it should be fine. If I used it, it would definitely look like a very, very nighttime look. I'm not going to use any um, eyeliner, but I will show you. I am going to put some color. So I'm going to take a um, shader brush right here, a blending brush. And with this one, I'm going to go into the color Ace, which is sort of a... Um, it's kind of a greenish gray color and that color right there is Ace. Now Ace can come up pretty dark so you kind of want to dab into it lightly. I just dab into it on the very tip and we're going to put this on the outer corner. I'm just going to blend that in. 
just a little bit at first because you want to have enough to go up but we're going to blend it in a little bit with deep end and then you're going to go up into the crease which kind of give you know gives it that shadowing effect we're going to go up into the crease and just bring it over deep end a little bit but don't bring it all the way up into here just kind of blend it up in there then you can blend out those edges a little and you can even go back with your shadow brush if you're finding that you need to and just kind of, um, you know, blend in deep end over here on this end too, on this end, with uh, Midnight 15. Sorry, I had to look at it. And then I'm going to take a liner brush, and this is the only color I'm going to do. Sorry about that, the phone started ringing. So first, you're going to want to go back into Midnight 15. And I'm going with the lightest color, obviously, because if we started with a darker color and then went into the lighter color, you might end up with some of that darker color in the inner corner. So I'm going to bring Midnight 15 into the inner corner. Just a little bit like that. Then I'm going to go back into Ace. And just a little tiny bit of ace is enough. And I'm going to bring that in the very, very outer corner on the bottom line. And I'm not going to take it all the way in. I just want to put it in enough so that it blends out there and gives it a little something. I think since it's so dark it almost looks like you have something going all the way across. Again, you can use eyeliner if you want. If I used it right now I feel like it would be too much of a nighttime look. For lips, um, make sure my lips are dry. For lips I'm just going to use, this is Viva Glam Gaga Chew which I've been using so much. And I don't go too crazy with it because it is kind of a buildable color. Like if you went over it and over and over it, you would get a very, very like bright pale look. I rarely use gloss, but what I've been loving with the Viva Glam Gaga Chu is Emancipation from um, the Wonder Woman collection. I know I hate when people use items that aren't available anymore. You can try your counters. Sometimes they'll have like older collection items available. But at the same time there are dupes. Like right now um, another one that looks really good with this which is probably what I should have used is Social Light. And that came out with the Mac Me Over collection. And I feel like this lasts a while too, which is pretty good because for me on my lips, for some reason it seems like glosses and things don't really last. So this is the look. I hope you enjoyed it. It's what I've been doing every day now. I'm sure I'll come up with more. Um, have a great day and I will see you soon. Bye.